This time I'll show you how to upgrade a locomotive decoder from Marklin. I'll be converting this ICE2 from a starter set. The locomotive already has an MFX decoder but with very few sounds and you can't adjust the acceleration and braking delay separately and I'd like to change that. So this decoder is coming out now and a new one is going in, then with lots of its own sounds. This is what the ICE2 looks like when you open the casing. Below the locomotive you can see the old speaker. I'll leave it in, even though the new locomotive sound decoders still come with a speaker. Maybe you want to upgrade a locomotive without sound, then this speaker is quite helpful. In this case, I'll save myself the work and just leave the speaker in. A quick function test of the motor with the old decoder. And this is what the old sound sounds like. Now you know why a new decoder should go in there. As the new decoder, this Marklin Sound Decoder MSD will be installed in the locomotive. There are different ones, so be careful. This one is for upgrading Marklin and Trix Hobby locomotives of the ER series. Everything you need for the conversion, I've put in the description text below this video. Before the new decoder can go into the locomotive, I first have to remove the old decoder. First, I open all the screws, four in total. After that, I unsolder the yellow wire for the front lighting and the grey wire for the front lighting. Then the red wire that goes to the slider is removed. And the brown wire that goes to the slider too. And simply another brown wire. Now you can take the decoder along with the motor out of the locomotive. But be careful, you still need to unsolder the old decoder board from the motor. Once here on the left and once here on the right side. And now you can carefully slide the motor out, then it's time for the new decoder. It's actually quite simple, but you need steady hands and a bit of practice with the soldering station. In the manual, you can see where to solder everything, but you can also watch the whole process here in the video. So first I solder the new decoder board to the motor. With a screwdriver, I clip these two conductors here onto the board 2001 and then I solder it in place with a bit of solder. I'm definitely not a soldering pro, but luckily my soldering station has a very fine tip and good temperature control. That helps a bit. That's what it looks like. And now I insert the motor and check if everything fits. And I already see the first problem. For me, the motor with the board was already the other way around in the locomotive than it says in the instructions. So the nice short cables are all on the wrong side. This isn't going to work. Now I have to make the cables longer because they need to go exactly to the other side. Alright, then a few colored cables and some heat shrink tubes. And then I'll just solder the cables a bit longer. Before that, I'll take a look at how the new decoder fits onto this board. Please watch out for the spikes there. Up here you see a notch. You need to pay attention to that on the base plate as well, otherwise the pins will break off. To solder it securely, you can of course remove the decoder again. So, now a quick look at the instructions to see where everything needs to be soldered. Here, I've extended the three cables a bit. This has turned into a bit of a cable mess, but we'll just hide all of that in the casing later. And I just briefly held the hot soldering iron against the heat shrink tube to make it smaller so that the cables hold well. I'm doing the same thing now with the two speaker cables. Here, two heat shrink tubes are also used. They are now soldered to the red and black cables of the speaker. It's best to use a tool like a third hand with these clamps here. It makes things easier. It doesn't matter which of the two white cables goes to the red or black one. So lastly, the lighting at the front of the locomotive. The cables are a bit too short here as well. So just extend it briefly with an orange cable and a black cable. For some locomotives, there's also a ribbon cable for the lighting that you could plug into the black socket here. In this case, with this starter set locomotive, that's not the case. So I need to solder the orange cable on the outside and the black cable right next to it on the inside. So now it's time for a function test. For that, the locomotive goes on the roller test stand and I'll just turn on the lights and start moving slowly. With the brand new decoder, the locomotive now has the sound function of a Hercules diesel locomotive, and that's what's going to be changed next. 
For this, the decoder is now placed on a special USB stick from Marklin. Just carefully unplug the decoder so the pins don't bend and place it on the Marklin decoder programmer. With the software of the decoder programmer, you can download Marklin's sound library directly to your computer and then see this directory structure. Well, and here I can also add my own sound. For example, you create a new folder in the station announcements folder here. In my example, let's say ICE arrival. In this folder, you can now add your own WAV file. However, it must be specially encoded, 16-bit mono, and it can only have a specific sample rate. That's a bit annoying because it's not a standard sample rate, and you might have to download some special sound software to re-encode your own voice from the dictation device a bit. Let's just gather a few things in the comments. I'll write something about it too. It's also important that you rename this WAV file to start WAV. Then this file is recognized as a locomotive sound by the decoder programmer. Now you can reopen the Marklin software for the decoder programmer and go into the settings of the locomotives. Here you can also edit the functions of the locomotive and add a new function. First though, we'll create a new locomotive sound. Under sound selection, you first need to add all the new locomotive sounds to the project, regardless of which function key the sound will be on later. Here, I now select the new sound and can choose my own ICE departure sound from the Marklin sound library on the left by simply dragging it over here. Here you can also preview the sound that I just recorded. Attention dear passengers, attention on track 3. There goes the ICE 526 to Münster West Main Station. The first class cars are in section 1000 today. That's how it sounds. Now let's go back to the functions and I'll create a new function. Here with a symbol for the function, which then also appears on the CS. And next to it, I select momentary functions so that the sound is played only once. Now you can assign the sound for this function on the right, and I select the sound here. After that, the project is saved and transferred to the locomotive decoder via the USB stick. So now it's time to put the locomotive back together and test it. Dear passengers, attention on track 3. There goes the ICE 526 to Münster West Main Station. The first class cars are in section B today. Yes, that worked. Then it's time for the first test run with the upgraded sound decoder. Have fun recreating it. I would appreciate a subscription and your comments below the video. Dear passengers, attention on track 3. There goes the ICE 526 to Münster West Main Station. The first class cars are in section 1000 today.